Zed here, and welcome back. Well, what a wild week it has been in the Pokemon world. Evolving Skies got announced, and rumors are already flying that it's the Eevee set. Walmart restocks are everywhere. People are asking, is this where all the Target product went to? Sure seems like it. Who knows? And prices are starting to come down. Is it time to buy? We'll find out. All views and opinions shared in this video are strictly for entertainment purposes only. This is not financial advice. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video. The view from a binder collector's eyes, it's great and it's also hard to keep up with all the sets coming out. My advice to anyone out there is to stay focused and decide what you really need to buy or collect. Listen, if you have lots of money to spend on shiny cardboard or if you're in the hobby as an investment, then I'm happy for you but it's simply not me. Now, don't get me wrong. I do enjoy knowing that some of my cards are worth something now, but I was also on the other side of this uh, a couple of years ago. You know, I had a large collection and it was basically worth nothing. Now, um, you have to realize that it will come a time where things go up and down and you have to be okay with that. Now, what do I mean by focusing? So for me, for example, I will be spending my money to complete my Shining Fate set and Vivid Voltage set for the rest of the year and probably get a booster box of any other set that's coming out. And that's it. With uh, Chilling Rain, for example, coming out, I have a couple booster boxes coming and that's it. Not even planning on getting the ETB since there's really no promo card in there and it's not a special set. So I will open a couple packs and move on. Now, my strategy for Evolving Skies would be the same which is rumored to include the EV Hero set as well. So it's going to be a fairly large set. In other news, restocks have been hitting my local Walmart. Now, they're sitting behind the customer service desk, and they're limiting two per customer, which is great. I was able to pick up two of the ETB Plus uh, boxes. They had about 15 of each, which I was real surprised, and also about 20 Shiny Fates ETBs along with their regular Pokeball tins and single boosters. Now, I doubt that it's because Target stopped selling at certain locations and their stock got moved to Walmart, but uh, it's probably more with the scalping of it, of Shining Fates, and no one's able, you know, to sell them, probably. No one's buying them over MSRP anymore. Another recent article I saw on Target was the Pokemon situation for them. They have, they're having daily calls between buyers and distributors on reintroducing product to the stores and the best way to do it. So rumors have it that in the following weeks, they'll be piloting their new process. So if you haven't seen anything at Target, keep an eye out. You might see your local Target with cards on the shelf sooner than, than we thought. Now, how about this market dip? Is it time to buy? Well, I would say not for me. If you're into flipping the cards and reselling them, then it might be for you since typically with anything, you're really supposed to buy low and sell high. But I mean, I still see more of a bottom to go as people exit the hobby, scalpers start leaving, and more product is on the shelves. Things will come down even more, I think anyways. I wouldn't even be surprised to see some LGSs start moving some of the battle styles product just to get rid of them with chilling rain down, down the path. Um, so keep an eye out for good deals on that. Now, Walmart again in the news this past week had a really sad video shared showing what seems to be scalpers, resellers just waiting outside the store. When it opens, they go running in a panic over to the card section and they just start going in a frenzy. You know, I hate seeing this type of stuff and really hope that others see it and just realize that's not just not the way you want to do it. And that's not the example we want to set for other uh, collectors or kids that might be watching. The last thing I kind of want to talk about was, you know, um, one thing I've realized is I've consumed a lot of this new and old YouTuber entertainment and, and content out there this past year is realizing what is entertainment and what is here to profit. So, you know, with that being said, just please be real careful on where you put your money. There is no guarantees in this market. There is no one that knows what's going to happen in the future with prices so don't overstretch yourself, you know, just enjoy the hobby, encourage new players, new collectors um, to the hobby. And remember, this is just the shiny cardboard that we enjoy to collect and look at. The best thing we can do is make the best choices we can with the information that's out there. So there's plenty of it. So do your research. 
Just remember, the larger the purchase, the more research you should do. So by doing this, you will hopefully avoid some of the risk. Now, a lot of this, you know, it's it's common sense, but I wanted to mention it. Just uh, the type of video this is, is to help out uh, in the hobby in any way possible. And just to keep everything in perspective. Well, that's it. Until next time, take care.